Oceans cover 71% of our planet's surface, stretching across an astonishing 361 million square kilometers. Beneath these waves lies a world largely unexplored, filled with secrets that could rewrite what we know about life itself. These deep waters hide mysteries like massive underwater volcanoes, strange undiscovered creatures, and extreme pressures that could even hold clues to life beyond Earth. Today we'll explore why NASA, typically focused on space, is so intrigued by our oceans, especially the Mariana Trench, the deepest place on Earth. Are they using these depths as a testing ground for finding life on other planets like on Jupiter's moon Europa? What if the life we find there looks nothing like we've ever seen? Stay with us to uncover these mysteries and more. The Mariana Trench is a mind-bending 11 kilometers deep, nearly seven miles below the surface. At its deepest point, the Challenger Deep water pressure reaches over 16,000 PSI. That's 1,071 times the pressure we experience on land. Such intense pressure would destroy most objects in moments, and yet against all odds, unique life forms thrive there. From ghostly white snailfish to terrifying dragonfish, these creatures survive in conditions darker, colder and more extreme than anywhere else on Earth. But what makes NASA interested in these ocean depths? NASA's Extreme Environment Mission Operations, or NEMO, sends researchers deep underwater to mimic the conditions of outer space. Working in extreme conditions like those found in the Mariana Trench allows NASA to prepare for missions where scientists may face similar isolation, limited resources and extreme pressures, like on distant icy moons. The trench has become a proving ground. NASA's autonomous underwater vehicle, Orpheus, has been equipped to dive to the bottom of the ocean and collect data on life forms that survive under crushing pressures. This technology could one day help us search for alien life in the waters of Europa, one of Jupiter's moons. So what is it about Europa that NASA finds so compelling? Europa is covered in a thick shell of ice, but below that ice lies a vast salty ocean. Scientists estimate that this hidden ocean holds twice as much water as all of Earth's oceans combined. Since 1979, data from NASA's Voyager missions and later the Galileo spacecraft showed signs that Europa's ice shell sits atop a warm, potentially life-supporting ocean. The intense gravitational pull of Jupiter stretches and compresses Europa, causing its icy surface to crack and creating internal heat. This process, known as tidal flexing, might generate enough heat to keep the water in a liquid state and produce hydrothermal vents, just like those in Earth's oceans. Here on Earth, hydrothermal vents emit scalding water up to 400 degrees Celsius, loaded with minerals and energy from Earth's core. Despite the darkness, these vents are teeming with life. Scientists believe that life on Earth may have even originated here, far from sunlight, sustained by the heat and minerals alone. Could similar vents exist on Europa supporting life? It's entirely possible. These environments could provide the water, energy and essential chemicals for life. Three ingredients scientists consider crucial. In the crushing darkness of the Mariana Trench, life takes on forms that seem almost alien to us. These creatures survive in one of the most extreme environments on Earth, adapting to pitch black surroundings freezing temperatures, and nearly unbearable pressures. Let's meet some of these extraordinary deep sea residents. First, we have the dragonfish, a true predator of the depths. This bioluminescent fish emits an eerie red glow from specialized light-producing organs. Unlike most other sea creatures, it uses red light, which is almost invisible to other animals at these depths, giving it a stealth advantage while hunting. The dragonfish's needle-sharp teeth and almost transparent body help it blend into its surroundings, making it one of the most feared predators of the trench. Then there's the snailfish, the deepest living fish known to science, thriving at depths of nearly 9,000 meters. Despite its fragile, almost translucent appearance, the snailfish endures pressures that would crush a submarine. Remarkably, scientists believe that these fish have developed specialized proteins and cellular structures to withstand these conditions, showcasing nature's ingenuity in its purest form. 
And of course, we have the mysterious frilled shark. Often called a living fossil, this shark has barely changed since prehistoric times. With a long, eel-like body and a mouth lined with 300 needle-sharp teeth, the frilled shark has a terrifying appearance. It can dive as deep as 1,500 meters, but is rarely seen. When it does appear, its unique hunting strategy, involving a sudden lunging motion, is reminiscent of creatures from our planet's distant past. Another rare but fascinating creature is the goblin shark. Often referred to as the alien of the deep, this shark has a long, flat snout and a unique jaw that can extend outward like a grabbing claw to snatch prey. The goblin shark can reach lengths of up to 16 feet and dives as deep as 1,300 meters. Its pinkish-gray, almost translucent skin only adds to its haunting, otherworldly look. Although extremely rare, it's one of the trench's most distinctive residents. Moving further, we find the barrel-eye fish, a small creature with an entirely transparent head. Its green-tinted eyes can rotate within its head, allowing it to look directly upwards to detect prey silhouetted against the dim light above. This fish's transparency and unique eye placement are remarkable adaptations to life in the ocean's twilight zone. Finally, there's the Dumbo octopus, named for its ear-like fins that resemble the Disney character Dumbo's ears. Found at depths of up to 4,000 meters, this octopus glides gracefully through the water, flapping its fins. Its translucent body and ghostly appearance make it look like a creature out of a dream. Though small, the Dumbo octopus is one of the few octopuses capable of living at such extreme depths, using its fins to maneuver effortlessly through the crushing pressure. Each of these creatures, from the dragonfish to the snailfish, reveals something unique about life's ability to adapt and survive. Their remarkable adaptations to total darkness, intense pressure and limited food sources serve as living proof that life can exist under unimaginable conditions. Could we find similar adaptations on distant worlds like the icy ocean of Europa? Scientists believe that if life does exist there, it could be just as diverse and unusual as the creatures we find in the Mariana Trench. For NASA, searching for life involves three essential factors, water, energy and chemistry. Europa's environment might meet all of these. Its salty ocean and potential hydrothermal activity, combined with basic elements like carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, could set the stage for life to thrive, even without sunlight. To test this hypothesis, NASA is preparing one of its most ambitious missions, the Europa Clipper mission, set to launch in the next few years. This spacecraft will orbit Jupiter and perform dozens of flybys over Europa, using powerful sensors to detect water vapor plumes, map its surface, and study the Moon's magnetic field. Getting to Europa is no small feat. The spacecraft will travel over 600 million kilometers using gravity assists to build up speed, similar to a cosmic game of pinball. It will take seven years to reach Jupiter, and once there, it'll begin its mission of studying Europa's surface and subsurface in detail. Once the Clipper's data is analyzed, NASA hopes to send a specialized robotic probe called a cryobot to drill through Europa's thick ice. This cryobot will carry tiny swimming microbots designed to explore the depths of Europa's ocean in search of life. Imagine what we might find. Organisms like those in the Mariana Trench or entirely new life forms unlike anything on Earth. This mission could bring us face to face with alien life for the first time in human history. But NASA's search for life isn't limited to our solar system. Using powerful telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble, scientists are identifying distant planets that might support life. While these distant worlds are far beyond our reach for now, Europa remains within our grasp offering the chance for groundbreaking discoveries in the coming decade. These missions, whether in the depths of our oceans or the far reaches of space, are driven by humanity's shared curiosity, our desire to explore the unknown and understand our place in the universe. Every discovery, every new mission, brings us one step closer to answering some of life's greatest questions. Will we find life on Europa? Maybe. But even if we don't, the journey itself will fuel new ideas, inspire new technologies, and bring us closer together in our quest for knowledge. So, 
Whether it's exploring the Mariana Trench or searching for life on Europa, each mission shows us that the desire to explore, to learn and to discover is what truly defines humanity. Thanks for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Earth's oceans and the cosmos, please like, share and subscribe. Let's continue to unravel the mysteries of our universe together.